Welcome to Trees. I'm making gumbo today. We're going to go through about eight steps. So what gumbo is, is basically a thick stew. Um, the one that we're going to make today is chicken and andouille. Andouille is a sausage that uh, is got pork and cayenne and uh, really good seasonings and spices and it gives it uh, the robust flavor of the gumbo. Chicken. And we cut it in half, we put it in the uh, water with bay leaf, thyme, black peppercorn, and we cooked it for roughly 40 minutes. What I'd like to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut an onion. I'm going to take off the butt end and the front end and always have a garbage nearby or a garbage bowl. And then cut your onion in half. And then go ahead and take the first, I take my knife and I make an incision and uh, go across to making probably four to five nice incisions up from the bottom to the top. And then turn your onion around and make incisions crosswise so that you've basically made cross paths. You're going to rotate it over one more time and take your knife down and make small little dice pieces of onion. And they'll cook very nicely and evenly for you that way. So you want to make sure that you're, um, you know, very uniform with your cutting. Same thing to our green pepper. We're going to cut it, hit uh, the top off it, turn it around and cut the butt end off it. And that'll take the little butt end off it for you. And uh, then you can take the seeds. In the membrane out, you can just kind of give it a little cut the green pepper so it's like uh, completely in half, like a half moon. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut our pepper into strips and make a nice uh, small chop. So then you go like that. Again, keeping your fingers curled away from the blade so you do not cut yourself. They you might like the red pepper and it gets a little extra sweetness. Uh, we've got our chicken that I took out of the refrigerator that we had cooked previously to make the stock and to cool it properly and we've done that. So we're going to take the skin and just get the meat. We're getting our pot very hot. We're going to use some butter, um, roughly about a quarter pound, and two cups of flour. So I'm getting the butter nice and melted. I love making gumbo. It's like absolutely one of my favorite things. I went to New Orleans and I was in Paul Perdome's kitchen. So, as you can see, it's starting to discolor a little bit, changing the butter and flour into a, a lighter color. It's got like a sand texture to it. It's turning into a nice and nutty. You don't know, have smell of vision, but I'm telling you, if you were standing in front of it right now, it'd give you a, a sensation of like. Uh, so, I want you to get a real good look at that, which is that beautiful red, brownish, amber color. Here's the vegetables that we cut up, the onions and the peppers. And we're going to move this around with the roux and get these vegetables nice and sauteed. You want to make sure that they're coated really, really good. And you also want to make sure you don't burn the vegetables, but you get a nice... Uh, Colorization on them here, and we've also got a nice coating of the some of the sugars and a little bit of the moisture from the little bit at a time. Mix it up. Keep stirring with your whisk because you just like I said, you don't want any lumps. I've got about a gallon of stock here. It's starting to tighten up, and we want that. We want that beautiful. Thick. Now we're going to go ahead and let the stock come back up to a uh, simmer, not quite a boil, but a simmer. You'll start to see the bubbles and things. And then we're going to incorporate the andouille and the chicken and the seasonings and bring this gumbo to a uh, uh, crescendo. This is cayenne pepper. This is our S&P, or just your all salt and pepper. I use a little bit of uh, sea salt. This is basil, dry basil, and this is our Cajun mix. We call it angel dust here at Therese. I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to put the andouille sausage in. And andouille, again, is this gorgeous sausage that has cayenne and also incorporate a whole lot more flavors to your gumbo. The roux 
and had that beautiful nutty flavor. Then we added the vegetables and their sweetness and a little bit of their moisture. And now we've incorporated uh, the chicken stock into the dish and now we've got the andouille. And the cayenne in the inside the andouille will start to uh, go into the stock. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the chicken, pulled chicken. It's white and dark meat, big chunks. We like big chunks in our gumbo. And now the chicken gives it another dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and use the angel dust. I have about three tablespoons in here. I love this stuff. It's got so many bold flavors. It's got Spanish paprika, Hungarian paprika, basil, oregano, black pepper, white pepper, cayenne. It's just a wonderful blend. And taste this to see where we're at for seasoning. Add a little cayenne pepper to it to give it some more heat. See, it's thickened it up just beautifully. It's reduced. I'm going to turn down the heat just a little bit more. Again, we don't want it to boil. We want it to nice simmer. But you can see how thick it's getting now. It's cooked down for a good 15, 20 minutes. Beautiful chunks of meat and chicken and vegetables, and it's ready to serve to your family. I'm going down and move the Alabama, get me a mojo hand. Oh yeah, I'm going to have all